<laughs> we will you have done it again Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Foxtel Digital coming to you again with Black Girl Stocks. And in this video, we're gonna talk about Weeble's new short and long position sizing tools on the charts. But I definitely sent Weeble a couple of messages asking them about this and they have delivered. So thank you so much Weeble for continuing to add helpful tools for all of us to succeed. These tools are important to use before you even get into your trades. They're gonna help you determine how many stock shares or option contracts to buy buy or sell. All right, so you'll understand the potential impact of any single trade. To my knowledge, for the most part, this was a tool that was offered in TradingView, which is an interesting platform, but there's a lot of limitations. Great platform, but I'm glad that it's over on Weeble's team now. Are you ready to level up your investing game? Well, Weeble is the platform to use that lets you trade stocks, ETFs, and options with zero commissions. So you don't need to break the bank to start investing. With Weeble, you can start with as little as $5. And the best part, so when you deposit $100 with Weeble, then you're gonna get up to 12 free stocks. Talk about a sweet deal. Honestly, after this, you can go ahead and delete any other broker that you have. Go ahead. Weeble has everything that you need at this point. So don't miss out on the fun and profits. Cash, cash. Join Weeble today and start investing like a professional. What is the position sizing tool? The Weeble long and short position sizing tool is a visual prediction charting tool that allows you to overlay entries, stop losses, and take profit targets directly on top of your charts. Setting up the tool on Weeble is very easy. So you can either draw directly on the chart. I honestly prefer this option because I'm more of a visual person myself, or you can fill in the fields in the settings window where you can put in specific entry and exit inputs like your account size and your preferred risk amount for your entire account. So for example, honestly, it's recommended that you don't risk more than one to 2%, others say five to 10, you know, whatever you do, that's on you. But don't risk more than at least a certain amount of your account on any one trade. So you want to use this tool because it can help you avoid over trading and at the same time under trading your positions both of these are very common if you don't plan out your trades we're gonna look a little bit later on how to use this for options trades here's a list of user inputs that you can change on the tool settings Let's just kind of look at the overall layout. So I see a lot of a lot of information here. So let's break this down. Here's the different pieces of a typical position sizing tool. So this tool can be used for either a long or a short positions, okay, bullish or bearish. You'll find the options as separate functions in the toolbar. It has green and red colors. Green means that you're making profit and red means that you're losing money. And the position colors are gonna switch from long to short positions. So you can kind of see on the long positions, the green is gonna be up at the top, red right on the bottom. So that means obviously when it drops, you're losing. And then on the opposite, if it's a short position or a bearish position, your green is gonna be on the bottom because we are making profit when that position is, is decreasing. The main elements are the entry or the open price, the target price, and the stop price. And as you can see, each of these three levels has its own smaller sections inside of them. So let's just look at the entry line first. So this is the line between the green and the red areas, and this shows the price where you actually entered the position. And you can check it out on the Y axis over there to the right. You'll see it as a little green box. Now the target price level. So here you're gonna see your potential profit in a dollar amount. And this is gonna tell you how much money that you can make in dollars or whatever that main currency is for one unit of that asset. So whether it's stocks or options or crypto, whatever you're using this tool on. It's based on the difference between the target price and the entry price. Then you're gonna see the potential profit as a percentage. And this just shows how much profit that you could make as a percentage of your account balance according to the tool's settings. Now here you see account balance. And this is what your new account balance might be if you exit your position at the price target. You know, it's worked out from the account balance that you put in. Now let's look at the stop loss level. Here you see the potential loss, and this is gonna show how much money that you could lose in dollars or the main currency of that asset. 
and it's going to be based on the difference between the target price and the entry price. Then we see the potential loss percentage and this tells you the loss that you may have as a percentage of your account balance and you see account balance here. This is what your new account balance might be if you close your position at the stop loss level. And so it's worked out from the account balance that you put in as well. Now you'll see the open P and L and that just means profit and loss. And that is the current amount that you've made or lost if you closed the trade right now. So if you closed it right now, that's what you would have made. And this value is gonna change as the market fluctuates. And so it shows you the estimated profit or loss based on the difference between the price that you bought in and the current price right now. And it's gonna show the main currency for one unit of the asset. So for example, if you bought a $610 share and the price goes up to $620, then the open profit and loss is going to show as 10. This one is kind of interesting. This is the quantity. So the quantity means how many shares or contracts that a trader plans to buy or sell at the entry price based on the risk and the account size. So this is going to change based on one, the account balance that you have and two, the risk that you're comfortable with taking per trade. The position sizing tool is going to help you figure out the best amount to trade. Consider how much risk that you're willing to take, you know, your investing goals and the money that you have available. Honestly, it's kind of like a position sizing calculator. Then you see the risk ratio value. The risk ratio value shows how much that you could potentially gain compared to what you could lose in a trade as a ratio. This tool gets rid of all the hassle of trying to figure out the risk management math on your own. So if you did actually want to calculate the risk ratio, then you get this number by dividing the potential profit by the potential loss. A higher risk ratio value means that the trade has a better chance of making money compared to the risk involved. So that's good. This is going to help you decide if it's worth being in this trade or not. You know, just a rule of thumb, a good risk ratio value, it can change based on the situation and that specific trade. So usually a risk ratio value of less than one means that the trade might be profitable since the possible reward is greater than the possible risk but it's important to think about other things too like how much risk the trader is okay with or what's going on in the market right now so now how to use this uh, this indicator so let's just kind of go over a demonstration of the short position sizing tool so first you're gonna click the arrow next to the icon to open a menu with the prediction and measurement tools then choose a simulated entry point on your chart so just some place you can see yourself jumping in by pointing it and clicking once then you're gonna see the profit and loss drawing pop up and you'll see the default settings at your entry point so you can adjust the stop loss and the profit level and the entry level by moving the handles on the side of the tool channel and then looking at the the actual entry level so you see two handles there little bubbles so you can move the handles up and down to change the entry point using the price reference on the y-axis to the right and you can move the handles left or right to change the data range so how long you plan on being in this trade in your calculation of the profit and loss using the data on the bottom now the target price you can move the circles up and down to adjust the target price using the reference on the y-axis and then the same thing for the stop loss price you can move that shape up and down to adjust the stop loss level and just so you know it may be a bit tough to set the exact entry and profit or stop loss points using the cursors and the handles on the screen. So it may be more effective and accurate to actually type in the entry price using the manual input option in the settings tab. Now, I know the question that everybody wants to know, can you use the position sizing tool for options? Yes, okay, yes, you can definitely use this tool for options trading, okay? So first you're gonna wanna search for the stock that you're interested in trading options for. Then when you found that, click on the options tab by the stock's name to look at the available option contracts. Next, after you've chosen the option contract that you wanna trade, whether that's calls or puts, vertical spreads, all of that with that expiration date, and keep in mind the strike price as well. Now go to the chart section of add a long or short position, then click on the chart to place the position tool. So this drawing should not only show the optimal position size based on your account, risk, and stop loss location, so just look for the black little circle, for example. So this is gonna help you determine how many option contracts to trade. 
Now keep in mind that option contracts have a multiplier. Usually it's 100 shares per contract. So when you see the position size divided by the multiplier, that is 100 to get the actual number of option contracts that you should buy or sell. All right, use a stop loss to manage your risk. Now it's really important to use a stop loss on every trade so that you can limit your potential losses and protect yourself from blowing up your account, especially if you're not on the screen all day. So in a nutshell, using these tools can really make a difference when it comes to our profits, how wild the market gets, and how we feel about our trades. So I encourage you to use these tools on your own charts, it's free, and remember to always manage your risk. I hope that you enjoyed this video and make sure that you click that thumbs up button for me. It really helps the channel. Also subscribe, click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. And I'll see you on the next one.